What's a hobby that's dying in popularity? Model trains. There is a store in our town square that has been there for like 50 years that specializes in model trains. It's called a train and toy store, but there are almost no toys there. The store is interesting to walk around in, if you are not claustrophobic, but he must not sell very much because he can't pay the rent anymore. He is closing and moving out of town to some building he owns. Again, the stuff looks cool but I have never seen anyone buy anything. Stamp collecting. It used to be a huge thing but not anymore. Probably because of the rise of email, very few people send letters anymore. They have them at estate sales all the time for super cheap. Pen pals. As a teenager, I loved writing letters to new people and receiving letters from all over the country and the world. Everything is instant now, but nothing beats that feeling of getting a letter in the mail that is specifically for you, that is not a bill, adds circular and comes from someone that genuinely wants to brighten your day. Collecting all 50 US state minted quarters. I remember there used to be TV commercials selling you fancy cardboard with holes in them to help you collect them all. Lol oh how times have changed. Ham radio. I remember as a kid listening to my dad's radio and him always having a good time and genuinely enjoying a good rag chew. I got my license and tuned into some of the local repeaters. Found some nets with the most depressing things I've ever heard. People talking about their terminal illnesses or how prescription costs are killing them. Model rocketry. When I was a kid, we all built and glued and fired off model rockets with rocket engines and stuff. Coercion Beanie Babies. Geocaching. Which is weird because I still do it sometimes while biking around. But caching apps rarely alert me of any finders in the apps now. I put $20 in, what used to be a super popular cache that people would visit daily like 15 years ago. I later turned, about 6 months later and the same items including the $20 were in there. In the UK it is 100% croquet. I know what a cliché. When I was younger everyone had a croquet set and it was a great way to enjoy time with friends on a summer day in the garden, whereas now I don't know anyone that still owns one. Maybe a strange one but this question got me thinking. General Aviation, being a private pilot. A series of lawsuits against plane manufacturers combined with insane certification requirements for airplanes and parts have made it so that buying new planes or replacement parts is ludicrously expensive for pretty much anyone earning less than $500,000 per year. Old used aircraft from the heyday of the 60s to 80s had been filling the void to an extent over the years, but they are starting to get really worn out and people feel less and less comfortable flying them as time goes on. And unfortunately there's just no replacements as they age out. As an example, a brand new Cessna 172 in 1969 cost $12,500, about $90,000 in today's money. Today, a 2021 model would cost around $400,000. Postcard collecting. I buy a postcard of each place I visit. Some places I have visited in the world, very hard to find a postcard. Hardest country, as we're only here for a day on a cruise. Dominica. Wingsuit flying used to be really popular but then many of them died and it quickly fell out of popularity. Based on young people I know, bowling, billiards and poker are fading. Board games was experiencing a boom until COVID. D&D &D is super popular again. I'm surprised this hasn't come up, but China, crystal collections. Another one would be sterling silver, tea sets, cutlery etc. Building model airplanes. Flying radio controlled helicopters and airplanes. Why would someone want to deal with all the hassle of flying a model helicopter that is insanely difficult to fly when they can buy a DJI drone that has a first person video stream, records video in 4K, and can fly around by itself via GPS? Indoor roller skating rinks. Drag racing, the vehicle kind. A major track in Georgia just got sold because of a local battery plant is being built nearby and the houses around it skyrocketed in value at it. Since there was confusion, the plant apparently has 50k jobs, so all local residential areas spiked for families moving here for the job as it's only a few minutes drive but far enough away that it isn't an eyesight either. The Rotary Club, the Elks, the Masons, the League of Women Voters. All kinds of fraternal organizations. Beyond that participation in all kinds of civic organizations, churches, labor unions, sports leagues, hobbyist clubs are way down from previous generations. 
Americans used to be world-renowned for their enthusiastic participation in clubs and civic organizations of all kinds. Now we're becoming an increasingly atomized society. The cost is that today the average American has fewer closer friends, is less likely to know their neighbors, and has less of an informal support network than at any point in history. Model trains. The hobby is absolutely dead. Entire train collections are being sold for literal pennies on the dollar. An engine that used to cost $500 may not even sell for $5. Not sure if it was a real hobby, but typewriting will die out eventually. The last typewriter's factory closed some years ago. Not strictly dying but certainly becoming a bit more difficult, CD collecting. Right now CDs are in this weird purgatory where we can't decide if we're done with them or not. They've fallen out of favor in terms of practical usage. Most people use streaming services and many new cars don't come with a CD player as standard. They're not totally obsolete but they're nowhere near as popular as they once were. Many chain stores that specialize in entertainment products have also begun to scale back their stock both in store and online. Go to a CD section and browse popular and for most artists they'll stock a generic greatest hits collection, their latest release and if you're really lucky maybe some of their popular albums. Case in point, I wanted to add Rio by Duran Duran to my collection. It's one of the greatest albums of the 80s yet literally no chain stores in my area stocked it. You'd think that would be one that's in wide circulation but apparently not. The other annoying thing is they're not old enough to have garnered, niche, value yet. Vinyl is the new collector's trend. So there's loads of market stalls popping up selling vinyl as the in, thing but CD stalls at markets are dying. Which is a shame cause they were the guys to go to if you wanted to find rare albums. Historical reenacting. Folks no longer want to play dress up in itchy wool and educate folks on whatever period was their jam. Its heyday was late 90s when you could find a group that did just about any period you could imagine. Finding the homes of ground dwelling bees. Bridge, super complex game, has layers and layers of rules, and it's dead. Working on your own car, I'm talking engine, clutches, body work. Hobbies. I feel like everything has to be a side hustle now and people don't just do beep for fun anymore. Flying kites never see that beep anymore. Sports card collecting conventions used to be a huge thing, now maybe a few gray hairs get together to trade, buy, and sell. Model trains, who has the space or the time anymore? Building theremins at home. Wiffle ball. Every boy from 8 to 13 had one. Tatting lace. I don't know if it's dying in popularity, but beekeeping has definitely undergone a shift in my lifetime. It used to be that every farm you drove past had a small hive or two tucked away somewhere. It was a side crop in the many crops that were grown. Now it's got a pretty large initial investment cost and you see more beekeepers that are young people with a garden in their backyard. It's expensive and time-consuming and frequently puzzling. It's also occasionally painful and sometimes heartbreaking. I still love it, though. Ventriloquism. Tuner cars. Yes, the community still exists, but the days of throwing a cold air intake and some springs on your Civic are long gone, and it's only for people with deep pockets now. It doesn't help that the supply of affordable, lightweight, entry-level performance cars is basically zero now, and the ones left over from the 90s and early O are so supply constrained you need to be able to produce at least $10,000 in cash just to buy one anymore. Never mind the cost of parts has gone up substantially too. I'm holding out hope that the first gen BRZ, FRS, 86 ends up bringing it back somewhat, but they're not cheap enough, still around $15,000 for something with 80k on it, nor produced in large enough numbers. Scrapbooking. No one prints pictures anymore. Collecting spoons. I'm a teenager yet I often enjoy finding spoons at cool tourist attractions. My personal favorite is one I got from Prague during Christmas time. It has a revolving dice in the handle. Collecting pogs. Latch hooking. May your day be filled with joy and happiness. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more quality content every day.